So I had this challenge today. I've dealt with some things that are kind of like this. I only have an idea on how to solve it. Oh, that's bad. What happened is last time I painted the climbing wall, I had paint flow through the barrel of the T-nut. This is a T-nut that goes into the back of the climbing wall and allows you to attach holds to the wall. And when I painted, paint got into this hole and flowed all the way through. Now, I have to fix that. So on every good setter's cart, you should have a tap. But just in case you don't have a tap, you can kind of make one like this. Take an old bolt and cut some grooves in it so those threads will cut. All right, first step, we're gonna take a pocket knife and just cut the paint out in the very front. This works well though, this is gonna be a very short video. Route setting. Okay, so I'm gonna try this with my cut bolt first. So if it works, you guys will have that trick at home without buying a tap. We have to get some threads. Oh, oh. Yeah. Get caught. That was easy. Can I just go out of there? Oh yeah. It sure did. Short video. Oh, that goes in there smooth. So even with the worst T-nut that I've ever seen, I still think it is more time effective to go ahead and paint the wall and not worry about plugging up all of these holes to protect your T-nuts. Because that was easy, at least that one. We'll see if there's more. I hope there's not more. We'll see. So several days have passed now and we've got a lot of awesome problems up on the wall and we haven't found any other T-nuts that have had the paint flow through them like that. We've had some where the paint has kind of bubbled up on the very edge, but that's easy to cut that out. Now that bolt that we turned into a tap worked so well that I want to show you how to do that or at least explain to you how to do that. So. Let's go up to here at the whiteboard. And instead of telling you how to make this using this little itty bitty bolt, I'm just gonna draw it bigger right here. So we're gonna look at the end of this bolt. We'll draw it. Hopefully you can see that. So this will be considered the center of the bolt. And then we have the threads that stick out past that. Now, if you come in straight on top of this with your angle grinder or a file, you can use both, you're going to flatten this out. So you'll come in and you're gonna take a big chunk out of this like that. And then your cutting surface is not going to be at a 90 degree. So as you're rotating the bolt around, the bolt goes this way as you're tightening it in, your threads now are not at a 90 it's kind of rolled over so instead of this cut grabbing that paint and pulling it out it's now just going to try to roll through that and push it down into the grooves so it's really important that when you make that cut you go straight in but off to the side so as you come in with your angle grinder or your file this will represent that you come straight down and cut out a nice chunk out of the edge. And okay, now your threads right here are much more of a 90 degree angle and it's gonna cut that out. With this bolt that I have here, I did that same thing on both sides. So there is your bolt. 
Well, that about covers it. Now here's a little bit of extra just for fun. I think I may have done too much stress eating over the last month. One, two, three, come on! Ah! Come on, man. come on! show you guys some of the holds here. If you're a fan of the channel, you'll recognize this guy. It's a pretty big guy. There's actually only one spot on the hold, really, while you're using it, and it's gonna be right here in that spot. You've got this nice juggy hold that's centered in there. I think it looks pretty smooth. And then this guy is three quarter inch crimp, used just for a bump to come out and hit this guy, which is a pretty mean sloper. We have an intermediate right here, but I haven't been able to hit it. So you're coming out to the corner to this pinch. Once you set this pinch, you may recognize this hole too. Once you set this pinch, it's up to this nice jug on up to this guy right here and then finish. So it's a pretty smooth problem. If you're around, come in and check it out. I'll see you next time right here on Climber Dad.